Good evening and welcome to the Division Three MIAA State Playoff between the Foxborough Warriors and the Blue Hill Warriors. Fox walks into the game ranked 21st in Division Three, and the Blue Hills Warriors come in ranked number 12. Starting lineups have been announced. For Foxborough, we have Captain Kyle Spurzel, number 12. To his left, number 15, Liam Lynch. To his right, Tim Luciano, number three. And on defense, Nick Luciano, number seven, and Gus Hurley, number 14. In goal for Foxborough, number 29, Shawnee Cronin. Foxborough on the move here early. Canton has a, has a lot of weapons on the offensive side of the ice here. Foxborough dumps it in, chased by Lynch and, and Tim Luciano. Lynch picks it up, breaks up the play, but Canton controls and sends it around the boards. Canton drops it into the Foxborough zone. The captains for Canton are number seven, Corey Moore. He's a senior. The other captain is Nick Edwards. He's number 18. He's a junior. Here comes Canton on a break into the zone, broken up by Luciano from behind. Luciano has Lynch at the blue line, brings it in. Lynch is going to shoot it on net, gets broken up at, by the defenseman. Quick shot by Spurzel on net, rolls out. Canton on the breakout. Galante's in the game now, number 17, along with Carisi. Spurzel stay in the center. Hurley takes it, sends it up to Galante. Galante sends it to the middle, but intercepted by Canton. Pete Smith, number 11, is now in the game. Luciano sends it up the boards. Carisi can't handle, but it goes into the Blue Hill zone. The goalie for Canton is number one, Adam Slack. He's a sophomore. Jonathan Brolin, number 18, is in the game, replacing Hurley on defense. Canton trying to move the puck out of the zone. And Brolin sends it back in. Canton's going to wind up and bring it out. Canton plays in the Mayflower League. They come into this contest with a record of 10 wins, six losses, and three ties. Puck goes back to Brolin. Brolin sends it up to Tim Luciano in the neutral zone. Goes all the way back around the net to Brolin. Brolin's going to try to chip it out. Actually misses it. Lynch, Spurzel, and Brolin all digging for the puck. Brolin takes away. He's going to skate it out. Sends it up quickly to Luciano. Luciano takes it across the blue line. Takes a quick shot on net. It's low. Good save by the goalie. You know, puck, big rebound. All the way out to Brolin. Brolin slaps it off to the right of the goalie. Spurzel dumps it back in, chased by Tim Luciano. Tim Luciano puts some pressure. Canton tries to clear it. Lynch grabs it, tries to send it back in. Canton controls it, and here they come. Oh, Luciano catches up to the forward, number 24, and number 24 sends it up and over the goal, over throwing his head. I don't know what's going A little bit of extra cricket going on between a couple of players at center ice. Spurs have lost his stick. Here comes the puck behind the net, picked up by Hurley, and he'll clear it out directly to the Canton defenseman who sends a shot in on net from just outside the blue line. Not sure what's happening there at center ice, but both Spurs and Lynch were. Uh, battling with a couple of Canton, uh, excuse me, a couple of Blue Hills players, um, no call, and just a little aggressive play, I guess. There, we'll have Smith at center, Galante on the wing, along with Carisi. Hurley tries to send it up to Carisi, can't pick it up, but Galante quickly gets on it in the in the Blue Hills zone. Battle in the corner here, Carisi in number 14 from Blue Hills. Broken up by Carisi, and it comes into the Foxborough zone, picked up by Nick Luciano, can't quite clear it. Smith plays the body, 
Number 25 comes away with it. Kind of a weak shot on goal, but almost one time by the forward to the right. Crone did a nice job of kicking that away. Quick shot on goes wide of Cronin. Another shot on Cronin right in the gut. Makes the save. So again, Blue Hills plays in the Mayflower League. Again, comes in here with a record of 10 wins, six losses, three ties. Some of the teams that are in the Mayflower League that Blue Hills plays quite often are Diamond Tech. Another quick shot. That was a quick shot from the point on Cronin. And I think it was tipped. And we'll have to wait for the official announcement here. But that shot came from just inside the blue line. Quite a... Uh, Quite a rip from Corey Moore, number seven, the senior captain. So it's one nothing here, early going, first period, 10-31 in the first period. And Blue Hills gets the first goal of the game. Puck comes back to Brolin, Brolin sends it in. Chased by Lynch, back up to Back into the Foxborough end would call an icing. Oh, look, number 17 grabbing Spurzel from behind. Not sure what. Not sure what was going on there. Number 17 should be tossed out of the game for grabbing Spurzel from behind. Lynch came in and pushed him. Um, but she was grabbing his shirt. I'm not sure what. Um, Uh, so number 17 for Blue Hills, the senior, was grabbing Spurzel number 12 by the shirt, just pulling him by the shirt. So Spurzel turned around and then Lynch came in and uh, gave him an extra push and he'll get the penalty. Uh, minute 30 for roughing. I'm not sure how the refs didn't see that, but uh, that's the second time number 17 has uh, done that uh, this game, grab somebody's shirt. So we'll see how that how that progresses during the rest of the game. The Foxborough coaches are making sure the refs know what was going on there. So Foxborough will be down uh, on the penalty kill here for a minute 30. Quick shot from the point for Blue Hills. Spurzel with the check. Luciano sends it up to Spurzel, gets knocked down in the process. Here comes Blue Hills and the shot gets deflected, I think, by Hurley. Number eight with the check on Galante. This and looks like a little bit of uh, heavy hitting here from the Blue Hills team, and the refs haven't uh, haven't uh, made any calls yet. But we'll see what happens here. Um, 53 seconds left on the penalty. Luciano all the way back to get the puck, and the follow through. Refs aren't even watching the follow through of the play. I'm not really sure. Uh, so number 17 once again involved here. I think Foxwood just needs to stay on their game and actually uh, when, when Blue Hill goes and has two guys checking on the one player, that that will leave a Foxborough player open because they're sending two guys uh, in on players on each play. So let's see how that works. I think Foxborough, if they play it smart, could get a couple of opportunities here. So uh, Blue Hills definitely came out to play here for sure. Blue Hills take the puck behind the net. Blue Hills trying to get the puck out of the zone. And they haven't been able to do it yet, but they they just send it up. That's going to be a probably going to be an icing. Okay, so good game so far. Both teams working hard. Blue Hills with the first notch with a blast from the point. Uh, the penalty's up on Lynch. So Fox will be back at full strength. Nice job killing that penalty. Uh, Foxborough plays in the Hockamock Davenport division. Comes into the game with six wins, 11 losses, and three ties. Lynch will chase that puck in the corner. Tim Luciano picks it up. Tries to get up to Lynch. Lynch battling for it, does a nice job. Spurzel steps in, goes back to Tim Luciano. Tim takes the one-timer, it bounces off uh, one of the forwards' uh, shin pads. Hurley gets rid of it quickly. 
over to Lin over to Spurzel, and then Lynch sends it up the boards. It's a face -off. Looks like we're gonna have a we're gonna have a face-off just outside the Foxborough zone along the boards. All right, we have Spurzel in at center. Lynch and Tim Luciano at forward. Luciano and Hurley on defense. Quick shot on net. Cronin kicks it off to the left. Goes up into the protective netting behind the net. So again, this is a MIAA Division Three state tournament game, first round. Uh, the winner of this game will play Hanover Thursday night. And I did notice on the way in that there were many Hanover players here. They have a bye tonight. They were in the lobby uh, watching, uh, uh, getting ready to watch this game so they can be prepared if, uh, if they play either Blue Hills or Foxborough. Here comes number 17 again. Takes it across the blue line. Quick shot on net. Cronin makes the save. Goes wide right. Another shot by number 21 for the point. Goes wide right. Seems to be as we watch this game, looks like uh, Blue Hills has quite a few, has qu quite a few offensive weapons here. The defense doesn't look all that strong, but uh, but uh, they do they do have some offensive threats. I have some notes here on Division Three statistics, and Blue Hills actually enjoys having three of the top ten scorers in Division Three. Uh, number one, Nick uh, Edwards has 66 points. Here's a puck back to the point, quick shot. Luciano in front of the net, uh, keeping the player away from Cronin. Nice job, nice save by Cronin. Luciano did a nice job out in front to keep uh, number 25 away from Cronin. So as mentioned, uh, Blue Hills has three of the top 10 scorers in Division Three. Uh, Nick Edwards score, has scored 66 points, has 35 goals and 31 assists. Number eight, Kyle Moore is a forward. He has 13 goals and 31 assists for 44 points. Another quick shot on Cronin, makes the save. And we'll have a face off just to the left of, uh, excuse me, just to the right of the Foxborough goalie. And then uh, number 10, Jacob, Grant has seven goals and 36 assists for 43 points. So, big check there from number 24 on Blue Hills on Galante. He, he, did, he did lose his feet. So, as a rule here, um, the the. Uh, the rule is you can't leave your feet when checking somebody, but the Canton player did leave his feet, but uh, wasn't called, and then Galante retaliated, and he'll get uh, a minute 30 in the box. So we're going to have, we're going to have a five on four, a power play for Blue Hills here. That's the second one of the game for them. Uh, we'll have Spurzel and Nick Luciano Hurley, he and Smith on the ice. Quick shot from the point, number seven. Number seven has what we call a cannon in hockey. Um, he's a captain, he's a senior. Not a big guy, but uh, has a real rocket from the point. That thing, I thought it was gonna break the glass behind the net, but uh, it, was, it, was, it was high, so just uh, doesn't even count as a shot on net, but it was a, a, a big rip. So Foxborough again with a minute 20 left on this. Uh, penalty kill, Canton. Canton with uh, a call here on number 17. Uh, 17 knows uh, knows how to play hockey for sure. He's uh, he's pretty sneaky, and I think what he did there, he tried to trip Kyle on the Kyle Spurzel on the faceoff and gets called for the, the penalty, which will help Foxborough because uh, looks like Lynch is in the in the box for a misconduct, which is seven and a half minutes, and Galante will be in there for another minute 16. So. So we're, gonna, so we're gonna play uh, four and four here for a while. And Puck's uh, broken out of the zone by Blue Hills. Smith can't get it back in, and he does. 
And Foxborough has Nick Luciano and Gus Hurley back on D along with Carisi and Smith chasing the forwards. Nick Luciano picks it up. He's going to skate a little bit, then he's going to send it back. Nice job by Luciano to do a, ba a backwards pass over to Smith. And here comes Blue Hills back in the zone. Nick Luciano clears it back out. Canton's got to hold it, send it back in. They got to clear. Luciano has going to skate a little bit, send it up the boards to Spurzel. Intercepted by number 24. Hurley picks it up, sends it up to Carisi. Carisi dumps it into the zone. And Spurzel chased it all the way down into the Blue Hill zone. And we have 5.30 left here in the first period. Quick two-line pass by number seven. They're going to wave it off on the icing. Luciano picks up behind the net. Spurzel comes in to protect him. Luciano sends it up to Tim Luciano. Tim brings it across center ice, across the blue line. Tim Luciano tries to get it on net. It goes wide. Can's going to wind it up and bring it out. And shot from the Blue Hill zone all the way up and on Johnny Crone, the goalie. Galante sends up to Tim Luciano. Tim Luciano stops, sends it up to Galante. Galante with a quick shot, goes wide left. Going to come out to Hurley. Hurley he tries to step up. He doesn't get it. Nick Tim Luciano, nice play to break, break up the oncoming forward. And quick quick shot on net. Cronick kicks it away, but I think Spurs is going to get called for, for a trip. Foxborough is going to stay out of the box here if they want to stay in this game. Notice Nick Luciano has been on the ice for the full period so far. And we've been a lot of we've had a lot of uh, penalty kill time here. So Foxborough needs to stay out of the box. So we'll have Spurzel in the box for a minute 30. Can will be have a man advantage again here. Hurley tries to get it, can't get it. Smith chases it, can't get it. They go D to D. Blue Hills, number eight, brings it in. Quick shot on net. And Cronin makes a save. And it comes out pretty, pretty deep into the zone. And Smith sends it in. Lynch chases it. Two guys try to grab him. Should leave somebody open here. And here we go. They're going to call Canton for uh, oh, they call number 17. Is that number 7 or number 17? Number 7 green. Blue Hills. High stick. They're going to send him in the box. So it'll be 4-4 four four here for a minute 10. Then Fox will have the man advantage for 20 seconds if they can stay out of the box. Like I said, Blue Hills came out very aggressive playing a good first period here. They scored uh, in the first five minutes and that'll be icing. So with Blue Hills with three of the top 10 scorers in the, in the league, like I said, a, a very potent offensive team. What I've seen so far, most of their uh, talent is on the offensive line. They have a decent core of defensemen. Looks like they're rolling four defensemen, and the goalie looks pretty sharp. But uh, their strength is definitely in their uh, their forward line. Hurley chases it down and bounces high. Smith backhands it out of the zone. Blue Hills collects it. Quick pass up to number 21. Luciano keeps him wide. Okay. They're gonna call a penalty for hooking on Luciano. So the refs have actually changed their tune in the second half of the first period. The first half of the first period, they weren't calling anything, and now they're calling just about everything. So that's a good call. It was a hook. And Nick Luciano will be in the box for a minute 30. He's actually in there with Spurzel. Spurzel has 32 seconds left on his penalty. So it's going to be it's going to be four on three. Canton with the power play. That's all right. That's okay. Oh, yeah, four and three. So Canton will have the advantage here for another 32 seconds. As number seven still has 52 seconds left on his penalty for Blue Hills. So Canton winds it up, goes D to D. Number 21 steps in back to number eight. Eight goes, shoots it wide. Number 21 collects it. We have Lynch, Galante. Quick shot goes wide. Picked up by number eight. Goes high, saved by Cronin. Like I said we have Galante and Brolin and Lynch on the ice right now. 
And nice clear by Brolin. Blue Hills drops it back in. Spurzel's back on the ice. And Foxborough on the move here. Lynch takes it all the way into the zone. We have four seconds left on the penalty to the Blue Hills player. He's going to come on the ice directly. Number 17 with the puck back to number 13. Quick shot goes high and cleared out by Brolin. Not quite out. Quick shot on net tip. Shot came from the points from Canton. He's sorry, he's sorry. And it was tipped. No, six guys were on the ice. They had yep. six on the ice. So the refs, the, the refs are talking about the possibility of having six men on the ice here for Blue Hills. They might have had an extra man on the ice, so they'll probably call that one back. Yep, they made a quick change there. The uh, number seven came out of the the penalty box and was going towards the bench and someone jumped on so they did not uh, get off the ice quick enough. That goal will be... That goal that goal will uh, not count which is good for Foxborough because uh, that keeps it a one nothing game here with 2.45 left in the first period. 26 seconds left on the penalty to Luciano Number 19's in the box for Blue Hills serving a minute 30 penalty. And it's been a good game so far. A lot of back and forth. Uh, Canton, I mean, excuse me, Blue Hills is dominating from a shot on goal perspective, but both teams putting a great effort in here. Puck goes back to Hurley. He sends it up to Spurzel, collected by Carisi behind the net, and Blue Hills will break it out. They'll clear it. Down to Cronin in the goal. Lynch will pick it up behind the net. He'll skate it out. He's got a little bit of room here. He'll just take it up over the in the neutral zone. Into all the way into the Blue Hill zone. Quick shot up and over the uh, goalie's head. And Foxborough back to full strength here. Galante on the ice. Nick Luciano back there. Oh, quick shot from quick pass from Spurzel to Galante. Galante gets the shot on net. It gets kicked to the right. Nice opportunity for Foxborough. Spurzel sends it back to Luciano. Luciano sends it into the corner. Blue Hills controlling it behind the net. Back out to Lynch on D. Lynch going to wind it up and take a quick wrist shot. Gets blocked. Carisi trying to collect it in the corner. Can't quite get it. He does if he sends it in, but there's two uh, Blue Hills players there to pick it up. A minute 45 left in the first period. Fox were down 1 nothing. Here comes Galante. Quick shot up to Carisi. It's Carisi's back and can't get a shot off. Spurzel with the puck. Sends it in. Shot on net. Nice job. Foxwood, 13 seconds left on this power play. He's doing a nice job with three shots on net. Back to Carisi in the corner. Here comes Blue Hills around the dasher. Picked up by Nick Luciano at the point. Sends it quickly over to Lynch. Lynch collects it. Can't quite get a shot off. Carisi sends it middle to, to Galante, and we'll call it. Good work. Is that all? Good work by the Foxborough team. Yeah, you're on. Oh, good, good work by Foxborough team. It went from Luciano over to Lynch, back to Carisi, and Carisi sent it across the front of the net, and Galante was in the right place. Foxborough scores, makes it one to one. That'll put a little bit of a scare into Blue Hills here, who comes in heavily favored. Again, uh, ranked 12th in Division Three uh, tournament, and Foxborough ranked 21st in the tournament rankings. Here comes number 12 on the breakaway, goes around, goes around Hurley, and. Quickly deposits that into the back of the net. So the Blue Hills player was number 12. Excuse me, let me check the number on this guy here. It was number. I think it was number 12. He actually took it from the center ice and had a one on one on Hurley and 
simply went around Hurley and, and uh, had a, a, a free shot on Cronin. and Cronin couldn't stop it. Nick Luciano will take it all the way out, pass it up to Spurzel, and Spurzel will collect it in the corner, take the hit, but he has great balance. He doesn't go down. Luciano steps up to break it up, can't quite get it. It'll go back to Hurley in the zone. Hurley will quickly send it up to Lynch, a little too far. Nick Luciano takes the puck. He's going to skate. He's got a little bit of room. He'll take it into the zone. He's going to keep his head up here. Picked up by Smith. Quick shot on net. Nice save by the Blue Hill goalie. Number one, Blue Hill goalie, number one, Adam Slack. Another breakaway, but that'll be the end of the first period with the Blue Hills Warriors playing out of their home rink with two goals and the Foxborough Warriors with one goal. Welcome back to second period action. Foxborough Warriors up against the Blue Hill Warriors in the MIA Division Three State Tournament game. We have Spurs out in the ice right now. Start the second period at center along with Tim Luciano at right wing, Liam Lynch at left wing, and Nick Luciano and Gus Hurley on defense. Broken up by Spurzel at center ice. Tim Luciano kicks it forward to Spurzel. I mean, excuse me, to Lynch. Lynch takes it into the zone. Back to Tim Luciano. Tim with a quick shot goes wide right. That was a good opportunity for Foxborough there. Nice hustle play by Lynch to get it to Tim Luciano. Gets a shot wide. And Spurzel and Lynch are battling behind the net here for the puck. Tim Luciano out in front of the net trying to get something going here. Spurzel looks like he's going to pop it out to Lynch. Good battle. Spurs is on the ground. Comes out. Lynch comes out, sends it over to Tim Luciano, center, right in front of the net, but can't get control of it. Nick Luciano breaks it up at center ice, sends it in. Tim Luciano gives it up to Spurzel. Spurzel sends it into uh, the Blue Hill zone. Comes all the way around. Hurley he should step up and try to get that one. He does. Canton sends it into the Foxborough end. Nick Luciano picks it up, sends it to Carisi. It's good fast pace in this game here today, both periods. Um, Nick Luciano zips it around to Hurley. He, Hurley should control the puck first before he, try, before he tries to pass that. Spurzel picks it up, takes it up the boards into the Blue Hill zone, takes two hits, but uh, keeps playing hard. Canton breaks it into the Foxborough zone. Lynch with a hip check. Spurzel tries to clear it out. It's blocked. It's blocked. Hurley sends it up to Lynch. Lynch has Carisi, sends it up to him quickly, takes it in the neutral zone, drops it in. Carisi chases it, pucks behind the net. Lynch and Carisi can't quite control it. Canton with the, with the play chips it up to number five. Five's going to chase it in on Nick Luciano. Nick Luciano will control it. Look like he got hooked there. Carisi backhands it out. And. A little battle for the puck here between Smith and Creasy. And puck will bounce into the penalty box next to the Foxborough bench. So as mentioned earlier, there's quite a few Hanover players here today. Well, that's the next round team. They received a bye. And they'll be playing the winner of this game on Thursday night. Okay, we got Pete Smith taking the center. Wins the faceoff back to Nick Luciano. Nick Luciano sends it in right on right to the left of the goal. Carisi chases it. As does Galante. They're rolling in on defense with Nick Luciano. Right to Puck came right out to Galante. Sends it in on net. Goes wide. Smith gets a quick shot. Goalie makes the save. Puck's behind the net. Carisi plays the body. And Blue Hills controls it. Puck cleared out. Hurley he sends it back in. Blue Hill sends it all the way down. Nick Luciano and number 25 will chase it. Luciano breaks up the play nicely. Sends up the boards to Carisi. Carisi clears it out. And Brolin will take it. He's got some ice. He'll take it into the, into the zone. Take a quick shot. And that goes just a little bit wide left. Chased down by Lynch. 
Got Spurzel and Carisi and Nick Luciano back to make the play. Luciano will chase it down. He'll, he'll win the battle and clear the puck to Lynch. Lynch will send it up middle, picked up by Spurzel. Spurzel in the center ice. Gets harassed there by a couple of players. Can't get into the zone. Brolin and Luciano on D here. Puck slides across. Cro Cronin pushes it forward to the stick. Here comes Lynch into the neutral zone. Puck's open. Tim Luciano will corral it. Spurs and Tim Luciano will chase it. Brolin and Nick Luciano will come back on D. And Canton, excuse me, Blue Hills will have the quick shot on net. Cronin with the save. So we have the next round game. Again, the winner of this game. Again, we'll play Thursday night against Hanover. The game location has not been announced. Spurzel wins the faceoff back to Nick Luciano. Nick sends up the board to Tim Luciano. Tim controls it, goes to the point, and quick shot by Blue Hills number eight on net, saved by Cronin. So we have a 2-1 game here. 10.42 left in the second period. Blue Hills has had the puck in the Foxborough zone for a good portion of this second period. Another save by Cronin on a quick shot off the faceoff by Blue Hills. Puck sent into the corner. Luciano in number 17 will chase it. Nice pass by 17 right to right to uh, his oncoming forward center ice, but uh, excuse me, in front of the, the goalie, but he couldn't corral it. Spurs will pick it up in the neutral zone, bring it in, into Blue Hill zones. Fiddle and diddle. Puck's alive. Picked up by Lynch. Tim Luciano comes around the outside, tries to put it on net. Can't. And Blue Hills will clear it. Nick Luciano will chase it into the Foxborough zone. Puck up to Spurzel. Spurzel will try to skate it out. Gets broken up by number 24. And Lynch will chase it. Can't get it. He does eventually get it on the board. It's up to Tim Luciano. Tim tries to grab it, but Blue Hills will send it back into the zone. Hurley has the puck. He should skate it. He has some room. He will. And Hurley will dump it in. Fox will with a quick change. Carisi coming off for Tim Luciano. Call is going to be on number seven for Blue Hills for interference. Foxborough will be on the power play here for minute 30. Again, down two to one. The face off to the left of the Blue Hills goalie. Spurzo wins it, sends it back to Nick Luciano. Nick Luciano puts it over to Galante in the corner. Galante zips it over to Spurzo behind the net. Can't seem to get anything going here. They're gonna try to maybe try to send it to the point. They can to get a shot off here. Spurzo sends it up to excuse me, Lynch to Spurzo. Back over to Carisi. Carisi with the puck back to Spurzo behind the net. And here comes Blue Hills on the breakout. They're gonna clear it. All the way down, Cronin will collect it, give it to Nick Luciano. Luciano has Spurzel and Lynch with him. He sends up to Spurzel. Galante goes center. Spurzel brings it in, followed up by Galante and Carisi. Puck will come out of the zone. Lynch will chase it down. Carisi sends it back in, but Blue Hills controls it, and they'll clear it all the way back down again into the Foxborough zone. Nick Luciano will pick it up again behind the net. He'll skate it out. Again with Lynch and Spurs will keep it, send it to Lynch, goes up the boards and a little too far for Lynch to grab it and Puck ends up in the penalty box just to the right of the Foxborough bench and we have 27 le seconds left here on the power play for Foxborough. Blue Hills controls it, sends it up to Nick Luciano. Nick Luciano Sends it over to Lynch. He's playing the other D position. Lynch going to bring it in. Tries to get the shot off. Can't. And 
That's it for the power play. We've got eight seconds left. Nick Luciano will, will grab the puck, take it behind the net, and Blue Hills is back at full strength. Luciano sends it all the way up to Spurzel. Nice pass. Backhander up to Carisi. Nice, nice look by Spurzel. Couldn't quite get it there. Blue Hills can't control it. Smith pops it into the zone. Spurzel stick handles it around, takes it all the way to the other side. Can't get the shot off, but keeps the puck in the Blue Hill zone. Comes all the way around, and Blue Hills controls it, and they're going to break it out. Quickly, and it was qu quickly picked up by, uh, quickly picked up by, uh, by Smith, but they're going to call the high stick as Smith knocked it down coming out of the, out of the Blue Hill zone. And... Spurzel with a nice play there uh, after the puck came out of the zone with a, with a uh, body check. A couple of the fans wanted a penalty on that one. No go. We'll have Smith on the faceoff. Picked up by Nick Luciano. With a, Luciano was about to break it out, but number 14, Gus Hurley, he, with the interference call, sort of unnecessary on that one because the puck was going to be cleared by uh, Luciano so that'll that'll give that'll give Blue Hills a man advantage for a minute 30 it's a tough penalty at this juncture in the game Got Lynch battling behind the net we have Lynch and Luciano playing D Galante and Smith on the up front Nice pass by Canton out in front, but broken up by Lynch. Lynch is going to skate it out. He's got, he's got a little bit of room here. He's going to quick shot on net. Big rebound, too. Smith will chase it. Lynch took it end-to-end -end on the on the break. He broke it up and then took it end-to-end. -end. Nice job. But uh, goalie made a decent save. Galante tries to break it up, and he does, and it just stays in. Blue Hills controls it. He has a puck to the right in front of the net. And a quick wrist shot by number eight for Blue Hills, and Cronin makes the save. 47 seconds left on the Hurley penalty. We'll keep Luciano and Lynch out there on D. Spurzel and Carisi will come in. Spurzel's a captain. Faceoff goes to Blue Hills. Number seven, he's got a big shot, winds it in, and goes up off of Lynch into the protective netting behind Cronin. We'll have a face-off to the left of Cronin. So we have Nick Luciano, number seven, the assistant captain out there. He's a junior. Spurzel's a senior. He's a captain. Lynch, a sophomore. And Carisi, a freshman. Goalie, Johnny Cronin's a freshman. Puck's out. Puck's actually, Blue Hills kept it in. I thought that came out of the zone. He didn't. Blue Hills working the puck around on this power play. Nice job looking for the... the the best shot they can get. Number seven sends it back in the corner, broken up by Foxborough. Lynch sends it out of the zone, and he does. A little bit of opening here. Crease is going to chase it. And we have 10 seconds left on the Blue Hills power play. And they're going to skate it all the way out on their own. And that's going to be offsides on Blue Hills. And Spurza with a, with a little push after the play. A little bit unnecessary. Uh, didn't gain didn't gain him anything by doing that. So that, that penalty is going to hurt Foxborough as they have some players that have been on the ice for quite a few minutes here. Both Lynch and Nick Luciano have played, I think, pretty much the whole second period so when there's a there's a power play it makes it tough on those guys who've been on the ice for many many minutes so it'll be five on four here puck goes back to blue hills back into the zone they try to clear it out but carisi grabs it sends it in the zone but can't excuse me blue hills quickly sends it out uh, Puck came middle, Smith couldn't couldn't get it. 
picked up by Nick Luciano. Nick Luciano is going to go around the boards all the way to the other side. And no one's home to collect it. And there's Lynch with the play. Quick pass up to Carisi. He's got some room. Should put that on net if he can. Quick shot on net with a decent rebound, but it fell down just close enough for the Canton goalie to cover it up. But a good shorthanded bid by Foxborough. Lynch getting the puck quickly up to Carisi. Carisi getting a good shot on net. Five twenty-six left here in the second period. Fox were down two to one. Blue Hills breaks, tries to collect the puck. They can't. Defenseman falls down. S S Smith chases it with Carisi. Carisi sends it back to Smith. He's got Galante in front, and the puck squeaks out. And Galante picks it up and sends it back in. Oh goodness to Smith. Smith had the opportunity if he could have just got the stick on that and pushed it along that would have been a goal for Foxborough nice play by Galante to get that back in on net and decent save by the Blue Hills goalie as mentioned uh, Nick Luciano's on defense with Hurley he was back on the ice at full strength Galante picks up the puck can't quite get it into the zone look like an elbow there Pucks in the Blue Hill zone, chased by Carisi and Galante. Carisi, S Smith battling, comes, Smith comes away with a quick shot, hits the side of the net. Puck squeaks out, Luke Luciano steps up, quickly sends it into the corner. Probably should have taken the shot. Looks like he, Nick Luciano might have hurt himself on that one. He is coming off a, a badly bruised rib in the, in, a, in the East Boston game. Canton clears it back into the zone. Picked up by Luciano behind the net. He's going to skate it out. He's got a little bit of room. He's going to take it. Sends it up to Smith. Smith backhands it in. We'll get a quick line change here. Tim Luciano will come on along with Damatoff will be on the ice number 13. That's the first action he's seen tonight. Nick Luciano chasing in the corner. Behind the net. Good battle. Luciano in number... Eight battling for it. Both of them go down. Puck squeaks out. Hurley tries to clear it. He does. Tim Luciano will chase it. All the way back in the zone. Luciano's played the full second period here. Looks a little tired. Backhands it out to Lynch, who's also played a lot of minutes second period. He looks tired too. Hurley's got the puck. Send it up to Tim Luciano. Takes the hit. Get up quick. And Blue Hills will clear it out. They'll send it into the zone. Hurley, he has some room. He should skate it a little bit. He does. Can't quite clear it. Number 17 blo blocks it. Nick Luciano sends it to Lynch. Canton sends it back. Excuse me. Blue Hill sends it back in. Stamatov will clear the puck. And that'll be icing. We'll have a face-off to the left of Cronin. So we'll have uh, Lynch will come off here for a breather. We'll have Spurzel on the face-off. Excuse me, that'll be Smith on the face-off. Quickly sends it up to Galante. Galante will go over the line and send it in. It's wide of the net. Carisi will chase it, Galante will chase it. Puck comes out to Hurley. Hurley sends it over to the corner. Brolin sends it in. Carisi will chase it. Blue Hills controls the puck, sends it middle. Brolin collects it, sends it back in. Goes off of Carisi's skate, and there'll be a faceoff just outside the zone. Uh, taking a quick look down here to see what's going on with Nick Luciano. Nick. Um, He's played uh, most of the game here on defense, but he got hurt uh, just a couple minutes ago in the ribs. And he, again, he's coming off of an injury, like I mentioned, in East Boston, so he might be out. So we'll see more of uh, Lynch probably on defense as the game progresses. Canton with a quick shot that goes wide. Tim Luciano will chase it, but not out of the zone. Canton drops it in. Excuse me, Blue Hills drops it, and we're playing in Canton. And Blue Hills is located in Canton, so I keep calling them Canton. 
Back to the defense, number 20 on D to D. Number eight takes a shot. And that was high and out of the rink. We'll have a face off outside the zone. On the opposite side of the benches, we'll have a face off. Spurzel going to take that face off with Tim Luciano to his right. Lynch is going to go to his left as Nick Luciano comes back into the game along with Hurley. Luciano and Lynch behind the net. Tim Luciano, a quick backhander. Nice try, Tim. Nice try. Almost with the uh, up, almost with the sneaky one there. The puck came out from Spurzel from behind the net quickly, and, and Luciano gave the quick backhand. Almost went five hole. Nice play by Spurzel to get it to Tim Luciano. Okay, same crew still out there. Lynch to the left, Tim Luciano to the right. Spurzel on the faceoff sends it forward into the. Into, into the Blue Hills defenseman. And Lynch picks it up. Back to Hurley on the point. Hurley will send it back in. But Blue Hills will come away with it. Spurs will chasing it. Puck comes out of the zone. And Hurley tries to send up to Tim Luciano. He can't control it. Nick Luciano tries to break that up. And the quick shot by Blue Hills. And another save by Cronin. What's going on? Foxborough and Blue Hills on the change here. Really? Really taking off all the defense? So Foxborough. That was a late change by the coach taking his two defensemen off. Again, Luciano's played most of the game. Hurley has played quite a bit. They put Lynch and Spurzel in on D, and then with a forward line. But it was a late change, and you can't do that. The ref uh, didn't appreciate it, and he'll call he'll call Galante and Carisi off the ice and put L Luciano and Hurley back in. It's the right call by the ref. You can't substitute that late. D to D for Blue Hills. Number seven is going to rock it. Quick shot goes off of Lynch's leg. Puck's jumping around out in front. It clears out. Lynch got some space. Takes it in. He, boy, is Liam Lynch quick. Nice pass by Lynch to the center, but it gets it gets broken up. And there's three guys on Lynch. Here comes Spurzel in there. And the ref's going to make a call here. Oh, third guy in. Uh, refs have to get control of this. So, as an announcer and a parent, I, you know, I want to yell down on the ice, um, but the Blue Hill guys uh, are used to probably playing a league where they check and don't get pushed back. Foxborough gave a little bit of pushback and they didn't like it. So they're going to have to have matching penalties here for sure, I would say. You gotta, you're simply going to match them up. Blue, Blue Hills had three players on Lynch. Spurzel came in to help out. And then number 25 for Blue Hills stepped in. Kind of a third man in situation, but um, so they're going to call they're going to call number eight uh, it, for Blue Hills for roughing. They're going to call Lynch probably for hitting late, I would say a late hit. So Foxborough coach is just trying to get this straightened out. So it just looks like a matching penalty. And fair enough. Looked like a lot more going on over there than matching penalties, but that works. Minute nine left here in the second period. We'll play uh, we'll play five on five as if nothing happened. And again, both teams playing very aggressively here. And Blue Hills will try to protect their two to one lead here with the last minute nine in the second period to play. We'll have Spurzel with Galante and Carisi to his right and left respectively. Luciano and Hurley in a D. Hurley backhands it over to Spurzel. Spurzel is going to try to take it in. 
And he actually sends it to the corner. With 50 seconds left in the period. Galante battling for it along the boards. Spurzel steps in and pops out. Blue Hills looking like they're a little panicked here. Playing a little bit of urgency. Probably didn't expect this game to be 2-1 at this point. Foxborough's really put on a, a, a great effort here in the second period. And picked up by Galante at center right. So take it in the zone. Quick shot blocked by number seven. Oh, nice pass by Galante. Goes through in front of the net. Picked up by Spurzel all the way around to Hurley. Hurley will drop it in to Carisi. Galante steps up. Can't quite get it. Luciano will send it back in along the boards. And they're going to call. They're going to call uh, icing and going to have a face off to the left of Cronin on the, in the Foxborough end. Twelve seconds left here in the second period. Blue Hills hanging on to a 2-1 lead. Spurs on the faceoff. He wins it up to Carisi. Canton grabs it, sends it back in on net from the point, but it goes wide. Nick Luciano and oh, they're going to call Spurs for a penalty there. Yeah, and. Luciano and Spurzel were battling in the corner, and Spurzel looked like he he might have cross-checked them. It didn't really. Uh, uh, I'm not really sure if it was a cross-check, cross but they're going to call it. I can't tell. The coaches are talking to the ref, and probably start the second. We'll probably start the third period with uh, possibly with a penalty. And we'll see when we come back here. But again, that's the end of the second period. And it's two to one Foxborough, and the ref has gone to the to the booth here. So we'll definitely be down a man to start the third period. And we'll see you in the third period. Third period action here at the Canton Arena, the Ponkapog Arena. Foxborough trailing two to one in this MIAA Division Three playoff game. Luciano corrals the puck, sends it out of the zone. Blue Hills with a quick shot from outside the zone. Cronin makes the save. Luciano tries to clear it out, backhands does. Picked up by Smith, Smith and Galante. Break into the zone, but Smith can't get it to Galante. Hurley steps up, drops it back into the zone. Foxborough on the penalty kill here on the Spurzel penalty after the whistle in the second end of the second period. So it'll be it, it'll be tough for Foxborough uh, to kill this penalty. At least they're fresh. Luciano in the corner plays the body. Battle for the puck. Blue Hills comes away with it. Back to the point. Sends it into the corner. Back to behind the net. Blue Hills waiting for the right shot. Back to the point. I figured number seven would take that if he had the opportunity. He's got a great slap shot. He's going to take this one, I think. Nope. He steps it in. Jason chases him. Puck comes out. Canton comes in. Takes a shot wide and high and tipped. Nice job by Foxborough to kill the majority of this penalty. Foxborough with a quick change here. Luciano remaining on defense. Lynch will come in with him. We'll have Galante and Smith on the ice as well. 15 seconds left on the penalty to Spurs. Luciano collects it behind the net. Can't quite clear it, but it actually comes out to Smith, Smith smartly clears it all the way down on net. Five seconds left. We'll have Spurzel back on the ice. He'll probably go directly onto the ice, which he does. Puck comes right to him at center ice. Tries to bring it in, can't do it. Spurzel and Lynch will chase, excuse me, Spurzel and Luciano will chase it. Spurzel will take it. Sends it up the boards and out. That hit the glass and somehow went over. I'm not sure how that happened. 
I am watching number seven there. Nick Luciano looks a little tentative uh, with the bad ribs, but he is playing. Good effort. Okay, Spurzel along with Lynch to his left. Tim Luciano is right. Tim will try to corral it. He can. Spurzel does get it out. Sends up to Lynch. A one on one break here. Lynch tries to cut into the middle, but broken up by the defenseman. Lynch follows it up behind the net, sends it to Spurzel, but it's broken up by Blue Hills. Blue Hills will break it out against Luciano and Hurley. Quick shot on net, but uh, easy save for Cronin. Luciano will skate it out of the zone on his own, sends it up to Tim Luciano, ends up going into the Blue Hills zone, and it'll be icing and play, nice play by uh, Foxborough just to try to move that puck out, but uh, a little too far ahead and two line pass. Spurs will take the face off, loses it. Canton dumps it in. Nick Luciano will chase it behind the net. He sends it around the boards to, to Lynch. Lynch can't get the puck, takes a hit, but keeps on plugging away. Nick Luciano breaks up the play. Nice job. Nick sends it up to his brother Tim. Tim chips it out. Nice work there. Chased by Lynch. Lynch on number eight. He could break this up but he almost does. Tim Luciano steps in to help out. Blue Hills clears it. Spurzel takes it and goes around two de defenders there. Nice job. Dumped in by Hurley. Comes around the boards to Nick Luciano. Nick Luciano will send it back in. Blue Hills try to clear it out, and they do. And Hurley, he's home to make the play. Looks like he got hauled down by number 15 for, from Blue Hills, and number 15 loses control of the puck, and Blue Hills drops it back in. Hurley sends it up to Lynch. Lynch back to Tim Luciano, who makes the catch and slips, and Big hit on Tim Luciano. There's going to be a penalty here on Blue Hills. Getting rough out there. Um, we had a couple of good hits there. Uh, Tim Luciano took a big hit, get up. Uh, Lynch took a big hit, get up. And number 17, Green. That could be the fourth penalty on 17. I'm not sure. It's at least number three. It's at least three, possibly four, number 17, but I can't, number seven and 17, I'm getting a little confused. So that'll be a penalty on Blue Hills. Fox were on the power play here for a minute 30. See if they can take advantage of a nice win by Spurs on the faceoff. Quick shot by Lynch, goes wide. Puck go, gets cleared by Blue Hills. Picked up by Cronin behind the net. Lynch takes it. They're going to break it out with Luciano to his left and Spurzel to his right. Lynch is going to keep it himself. Take it in the zone. Sends it off to Lynch. Lynch miscues. Had a good opportunity there. Spurzel sends it in front of the net. Lynch has it behind the net. Tries to center it. And he does. And that's what we call it. We call a goal here. Foxborough with a big play. What a job by Foxborough. Are you kidding me? That was a great effort by Foxborough. Spurzel, Lynch, Luciano, Galante, Smith, uh, all playing a part in that goal. Very impressive. Spurzel just trying to get that thing to the, in, into, into the area in front of the net, and he does, and it was potted. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ask, I'm gonna ask Chris Brolin, uh, my partner here who's running the camera who scored because I'm not really sure So we'll let you know in a second who scored, but that's a big goal for Foxborough to tie up this game Foxborough with a Whole bunch of renewed energy here all of a sudden is tied two to two and Blue Hills looks like they're Again playing with a sense of urgency another play for Foxborough in front of the net Smith gets a shot it goes wide kept in by Galante and we're going to get a face off to the right of the Blue Hills goalie and Foxborough will change up the lines again bring that first line out again with uh, Spurzel, Lynch and Tim Luciano nice effort by the second line Carisi and Smith for sure Galante as well oh, 
another late switch by Foxborough. Foxborough is trying to bring Nick Luciano back in the game uh, for Brolin, but they're not going to allow it. So it'll be Brolin and Hurley on defense. Blue Hills breaks it into the zone, broken up by Brolin. Nice job. Blue Hills keeps the puck. Picked up by Spurzel, takes the center ice, got some room. He's got Tim Luciano with him. Tim stops at the blue line. Spurzel dumps it in. Lynch is stepping in to get the puck. He breaks it up. Tim Luciano goes to the net. And Tim will chase it in the corner. And he'll break it up, actually. Nice play by Tim to send it up to Lynch. Can't quite get there. Luciano, Nick Luciano keeps it in. And Blue Hill's going to break it out. Number 24, not all that fast. Nice play by Luciano to break up the play. And... Blue Hills has a couple of fast fours, but number 24 is not one of them. Ooh, Spurzel takes the hit at the, at the top of the circle, but gets up quickly. Foxborough needs to get control of the puck, and they do. Spurzel brings it out with Tim Luciano and Lynch. Foxborough on the, on the move here. Nick, Tim Luciano picks it up, sends it in to Lynch in the corner. Smith goes to the net. Carisi on the ice now for Luciano as well. Picked up by Lynch. Lynch sends it back in the corner. Carisi, Smith can't get to it, nor can Carisi. Back to Nick Luciano. Nick Luciano sends it over to Carisi in the corner. Nice job. Work, Foxborough working the puck around here on the, on the offensive end. Here comes number 13. Quick shot on net goes wide. Cronin gets a piece of it. Galante takes a hit, but keeps moving. Crowd's very excited here. Luciano has the puck behind the net. He's going to skate it out. He's got Smith, Galante with him. Sends it up to, to Galante. Galante brings it into the zone with Carisi. Puts it on net. Goalie sends it out to his defenseman. A little bit of a rebound there, but no one from Foxborough is around. Nick Luciano has it. Sends it up the boards all the way in. We have a game here, folks. Two to two. The Blue Hill Warriors came in heavily favored in this game. Foxborough's giving them a battle. And... Blue Hills uh, ranked 70th overall in Massachusetts. Foxborough ranked in the 100s. In the MIA seedings, Blue Hills was ranked 12th, or seeded 12th, and Foxborough was ranked 21st. So we'll have a face-off all the way back in the Foxborough zone to the right of Cronin. Quite a battle here. Second period, excuse me, third period action. 8-17 left in the game, 2-2 tie. Spurzel wins the faceoff back to Nick Luciano. Nick Luciano tries to clear it out. Picked up at the point by Blue Hills. And Blue Hills getting a little sloppy with the puck here. Picked up by Spurzel, sends it up to Lynch. Center ice, Tim Luciano tries to stick, poke a stick in there. Can't come up with it, but does block it. And the puck is stuck in his pants. And it fell out of his pants and uh, he dropped down and nice play by Spurzel showing number 25 that uh, that he can play the game of hockey. Nice job. Spurzel another big hit and Spurzel is just a machine out there right now and now they're going to call him for the penalty. Excuse me, they're going to call number number 8 for the penalty I think. Nope, they're going to call yep, Spurzel with two very good hockey hits and the Blue Hill, Blue Hills team, number eight, wasn't able to uh, handle the last hit, so he came out and, and charged uh, Spurzel in retaliation. And that's a big penalty for Blue Hills, giving Foxborough a man advantage. And Fox will be on the power play for the next minute 30. Spurzel on the faceoff with Galante and Smith. Up, oh, popped out to Lynch. Lynch sends it to D to D to Luciano. Luciano sends it up to Spurzel. Spurzel takes the hit, but uh, gets the puck in the zone. Galante plays the body. Spurzel sends it around to Smith, has some room. Sends it middle. And Blue Hill is not sure what to do here. Foxborough attacking. Lynch with the puck. Back to Galante. Galante tries to go D to D to Nick Luciano. Who? Oh, what a play by Nick Luciano to keep that thing alive. He was uh, there was a breakaway there, and Nick was just able to s grab that puck. Luciano stops the puck, goes D to D. Fox has to clear the zone. Smith sends it up to Spurzel. 
Spurzel takes it in, takes another hit, but keeps his balance and drops it in. Foxborough putting a lot of pressure here. Back to Nick Luciano with a quick shot. Oh, goodness, went high. You tipped. Good shot to the went to the right of the net. Foxborough still battling behind the net. Hand pass. And Foxborough relentless in the last three to five, three to four minutes here, keeping the puck in the Blue Hill zone, playing great hockey here. Blue Hills a little bit back on their heels, not sure what to do as Foxborough is playing a very physical third period and Blue Hills not sure how to handle it. Foxborough at full strength here for another 31 seconds on the power play. Lynch will take it out with Carisi and Smith, Susie and Galante, nice pass to Galante, center ice, Galante will send it back to Spurzel. Everyone waits, Spurzel sends the puck and is tipped up into the netting behind the Blue Hills goaltender will have a face-off to the left of the Blue Hills goalie. 18 seconds left on the penalty to number eight, Nick Frisco from Blue Hills. He's a junior and a forward. Here comes Blue Hills, broken up by Nick, Nick Luciano, number 24 again. Like I said, not one of the fastest kids of the Blue Hills team. Nick Luciano makes the play and breaks it up. Lynch will break it out on his own with Carisi and Galante. Lynch will take it in. He's got Spurzel. It's, oh, nice try by Lynch to get it to the center there, but couldn't quite get it. And Galante coming back on a nice back check to get that puck. Spurzel with a big hit. Number 17 with the slash. And number 17 is out of this game. That has to be the fourth play on him. Foxville going to be on the power play. And number 17 will get called for the slash. Kind of another... And we've done it ourselves at Foxborough. Kind of one of those penalties that doesn't get you anything. A slash, a slash will put you in the box. Most likely his fourth penalty. Uh, I just been corrected. That might not be his fourth. Uh, number seven's had a couple. Number 17's have a couple. I just again, those are the those are the plays where again Foxborough has done that as. Blue Hills, a penalty that just doesn't gain you the puck or anything, and a quick slash in a game like this, they're going to call it. So, Foxborough will be a man up for a minute 30, and Foxborough calls a timeout with 5.47 left in the game. Probably trying to get their kids a break and also talk strategy. Coach Genovese mapping out a play right now for his team. Foxborough looking to probably talk about how to work this power play and then also to talk about what to do after the power play. My, my assumption is in MIA Division Three hockey tournament games, you'll go to overtime. Probably play four and four in overtime. That's just a guess. I'm not really sure. We'll find out when it happens. Yeah. And, all right, so the crowd is pretty big here in the rink. We have a game following this game is Situate versus Canton. Canton, one of the premier teams in the Hockamock League. So the crowd is pretty darn big here. Spurs will take the face off with Galante to his right, Smith to his left. He wins it. Back to Lynch and Luciano on defense. Foxborough on the power play trying to get a shot here. Smith sends it over to Spurzel. Galante in the middle. Probably should go D to D, D on this. If he can't back to the point, Lynch is ready for the puck. A little bit of a battle there along the boards. And Nick Luciano will pick that puck up and skate it out. He's got a few guys uh, to beat here. He does. Takes it all the way in on his own. Sends it middle. No one home. But Spurzel picks it up at the point. Quick shot. Big rebound. Lynch corrals it at the blue line and sends it in, it goes wide, left. Smith picks it up, sends it over to uh, Galante. Galante up to Lynch at the point. Lynch gonna probably walk in and take a shot, takes a wrister, nice and low. Oh, goodness gracious! Oh my goodness! Lynch with the low, hard shot. And that one goes in the net. It looked like it was five hole. I'll tell you what, folks. Number 17 in the box here. That was key to give Foxborough the, the power play. And 
Foxborough takes the three to two lead with 455 left in the game. And they'll drop the puck. Spurzel picks it up, sends it up to Lynch. Lynch chases it in and can't quite get to it, but uh, does get on net. Again, mentioned earlier, this crowd is really ballooned here. We have uh, t the teams for the game after this game and their fans and our fans, Blue Hills fans. So a lot of people watching this game. Tim Luciano and Lynch at the forward positions along with Spurzel at center. Blue Hills breaks it out. Nick Luciano breaks it up at the blue line. Number 25 corralled by Tim Luciano. And what are you gonna call, why do they call that? I'm oh, sorry, I sh sorry, uh, a late hit there. The whistle is blown and I sh the whistle is blown and there's a late hit by Blue Hills and they don't call it. And that's the ref's fault for not calling that. You need to make the call, that way the late hit stop. But they're trying to figure out what happened here. They blew the whistle as Blue Hills brought it into, as Blue Hills brought it into the zone. They're gonna call a slash on number three, Tim Luciano. And I'm not sure about the late hit. Uh, so, so, so Foxborough will be down a man here. So Foxborough will be down a man. It'll be five on four. Blue Hills with the man advantage. Spurzo wins it, sends it to Luciano. Luciano sends it up the boards. And nice clear by Foxborough. Tim Luciano in the, in the penalty box for a minute 30 here on the slash. Play by Spurzel, breaks it up. Smith clears it, quick shot. Goes all the way on Krona. Krona makes the glove save, drops it down, and Spurzel clears it. Four minutes left here in the game. Fox were up three to two. Smith doing a nice job to forecheck here on the, uh, excuse me, uh, on the, on the power play, which is dangerous for sure, but nice work by Smith. Spurzel with the breakup at the blue line. Here comes Blue Hills, uh, one on three. Luciano keeps it wide. Nice defensive play by Nick Luciano to keep that play wide. Quick wrist shot, and the puck's in front of the net. And... So... Blue Hills... Blue Hills follow that puck all the way into the net, and... Almost uh, pushed it in with uh, with his body. I'm not sure what number, but that ties it up here with 337, 337 left in the game. It's three to three. Fox roll back to full strength. Tim Luciano will stay in the box to finish out his penalty, but both teams at full strength. So we'll play this one to the end. Puck comes down into the corner, cleared out by Luciano. Quick shot on net, actually the puck didn't make it quite out and picked up by number 14, the defenseman for Blue Hills. His name's Pat Joyce, he's a senior. And he puts that one on net, Corona makes the save. Foxborough on the, on the, on the line change. We'll have Spurzel along with Smith and Galante. Excuse me, Smith and Lynch. Nick Luciano and Gus Hurley on D. Blue Hills bring it into the, into the zone. Broken up by Spurzel. Comes across. Somehow that puck got to the center. Number 17 took a shot and it went wide. 17 picks up again. It looks like he's going to take another wrist shot. Oh, goodness. He hits the post and it bounces out to Luciano who takes it out. He's probably going to clear it. And he does just to get out of the zone so far so we can regroup. And it comes back to Hurley. Hurley sends it up to Lynch. And Hurley will dump it into Lynch. Lynch can't quite grab it. Blue Hills coming down. Blue Hills with a with a great op Blue Hills with a great opportunity there to score. Goes off the, <laughs> the post and uh, Foxborough cleared it. Lynch has it at the point. 
Going to take it into the, into the corner, followed by Smith. Big pile up down low. Here comes Blue Hills with a three on two. Luciano and Hurley, he, quick shot, goes high off the net behind, off the protective netting behind the goalie, Johnny Cronin. What a game here, folks. Good action up and down. Both teams regrouping here, making sure they're ready for the last two minutes of this game. Winner goes on to play Hanover on Thursday night. Spurls is gonna take the face off. Galante and Carisi on the ice with Spurzel, Nick Luciano and Jonathan Brolin on defense. Johnny Cronin playing some stand-up goalie today for Foxborough. Here comes Spurzel into the neutral zone, takes it in on his own, broken up, catches an edge, and here comes Blue Hills. Nick Luciano played that nicely in good position. Blue Hills clears it back in, and Nick Luciano will skate it out. He has some room. Sends it up to the middle to Carisi. Carisi can't quite control it. Galante will bring it in. Smith will come on the ice to help out here. Can't quite break it up. Brolin and Luciano on D. Good play by Brolin. Play the body there. Picked up by Luciano behind the net. Quick pass up to Galante. Can't quite get it out. Number 15. Nick Luciano right there to make that play. Number 15 broke it up, but took it away from Galante, and Luciano was there to break up the play and send it out. Quick shot on net from Blue Hills and hits the side of the net. And there's Galante, a nice chip pass to himself. Sends it up to, to Carisi, he gets knocked down, and the puck rolls in on the Blue Hills goalie. Crowd's getting, getting pretty loud here. We're looking at uh, 57 seconds left here in the game. We'll have Luciano coming in to give Carisi a break. Smith will come off as well. We'll have Lynch, Luciano, and Spurzel up front. Nick Luciano and Hurley he on D. Big faceoff here for Foxborough. Spurzel playing one heck of a game. Team's working hard. Coach from Blue Hills having a conversation with the ref. Not sure what about, but something he doesn't like. Ref, call, ref well, well, that's what it was. It was a timeout for Blue Hills. And both teams will get one timeout, and Fox was used there, so that's Blue Hills' timeout. Good opportunity to Fox to regroup here, for sure. Great third period action. Tied up 3-3. Three to three. Foxborough in their third straight year making the MIA Division Three state tournament and doing one heck of a job positioning themselves to move to the next round. Goalie freshman Johnny Cronin's played very, very well. Spurzel, the captain, number 12, the senior, playing one heck of a game. Nick Luciano has been on the ice and playing very, very strong defense for Foxborough. Lynch, number 15, has been up and down. Uh, playing great tonight. Carisi and Smith, two very strong freshmen playing well. Galante, number 17, has been all over the ice as well. Tim Luciano, number three, has uh, made some great plays for the Warriors. Uh, Foxborough really rolling right here with two lines. Um, and pretty much playing the, the, the two lines that uh, have uh, produced the most uh, in the last couple of games and Blue Hills is doing the same. They're playing two lines as well. Also want to mention uh, the, the good defensive work by the combination of Hurley, Luciano and Brolin. The three defensemen rotate, all three playing a great game. Number 18, Brolin's a freshman. Hurley, number 14, is a junior playing very well. Nick Luciano, a junior. Smith checks it back in. Blue Hills playing a little defensively here. Here they go, they're gonna break it out. Chased by Lynch. Comes up to Hurley. Hurley sends it up and into the zone. Nice play, picked up by Smith. Oh, Smith actually missed it, but he does step back in and get it. Cleared out, Luciano sends it back in to the corner. 
and Lynch didn't realize that uh, he had to clear the zone, so they'll call a face-off. They call a face-off probably all the way down, I would assume, or maybe it's just outside, just outside the zone here in front of the Blue Hills bench. They'll have a face-off. Uh, Lynch was heads down, focused. Didn't realize that that uh, needed to be cleared. Spurzel wins the face-off. Hurley dumps it in. Chased by Lynch. Blue Hills tries to clear it out and does. Blue Hills has numbers. Three on three here. Clears his own. Spurzel out of nowhere breaks that play up. Nice job. Lynch, nice play by Lynch to break up that play at the blue line, not allowing Blue Hills to get another shot on net. And that'll be the end of regulation. Okay. They're going to play, a, a, they're going to provide both teams with a one minute intermission. And we're going to go into overtime here. And we're going to try to listen to the refs as to how the rules work here. I'm assuming they'll play, assuming they'll play five on five for five minutes and then go to four on four and then three on three and then a shootout. But can't be sure. We'll see how that all, all works out. So. Um, again, Foxborough has played in the MIIA Division III tournament the th last three years. Um, has been bumped out the last two years in the first round game. This would be actually, if Foxborough could pull this out, this would be the first tournament win for the Foxborough High School hockey team uh, ever. So big opportunity for Foxborough here to, uh, to make something happen. Both teams here, I said Blue Hills, playing the Mayflower League. Had a very good season. Uh, Foxville playing the Hockamock League, which uh, is a lot bigger, uh, a league with a lot bigger schools. Foxville played a lot of Division One, Division Two games, which has prepared them for a game against Blue Hills. Blue Hills is a good team, but I don't think, I don't think they've played as many games against high caliber teams as Foxborough has. So we're gonna have, we're going to have the face-off here, five on five, six minutes here, six minutes on the clock in this frame. Spurzel wins the face-off, comes back to Nick Luciano. Nick Luciano sends up the boards to Lynch. Luciano tries to clear it back out. It pops into the zone. Now, in the, it, it, excuse me, Blue Hills picks it up in the neutral zone, sends it in. Hurley Heese tries to drop it up for Smith. Can't get it, but Lynch does and sends it up the boards. Blue Hills picks it up, sends it on net, and Cronin makes the save. Oh, geez, Cronin made the save. It popped up high, caught it with his glove, and then dropped it down, but uh, decided to cover it up so we get a face off. Face off to the right of Cronin. Spurzel wins the face off. Luciano backhands it up the boards. Back again to Luciano. Hurley he grabs it. Hurley sends it around to Smith, but not out to the point. Blue Hill sends it back in. Hurley he grabs it again, sends it behind the net. Spurzel playing both ends of the ice, picks it up, sends it to Lynch. Lynch with a nice pass up to Smith. Smith chases into the zone. Lynch will grab it in the corner. Nice play by Liam Lynch to grab the puck over to Smith. And Smith gets hit, and the door behind the net opens up. And there'll be a face-off to the left of the Canton goalie. Excuse me, the left of the Blue Hills goalie. Lynch will come off uh, for a breather, and Galante will step in. Okay, Spurzel wins it back to Lynch. Lynch with a quick shot. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Foxborough with the win. Coaches are holding back the team to make sure the game has been officially called. Here comes the rest of the team. Foxborough with the biggest win of the, of the Fox, of Foxborough's ice hockey program. They'll take this one home, four to three. The pass from, I think it went from Luciano to Spurzel, back to Lynch, and Lynch rips it home. And the Blue Hills team 
dejected. Kids can't be happy. They played a great game, but Foxborough came up on top. Very physical game. Both teams played really hard. So Foxborough will be playing Thursday night against Hanover. And first win for the Foxborough Warriors in postseason play. Uh, great win for the program. Great win for the kids. Uh, very exciting. Great goaltending by Johnny Cronin. Well, that's it for us from the Canton Arena. And Foxborough will take this one home, four to three. That goal was scored, 454 left in the overtime. And congratulations to Foxborough. And that's all for us here from the Canton Arena at Pockapog. Thank you to Chris Brolin for running the camera. And thank you to the Foxborough High School team for providing a great show. Good night. Hey, Chris.